How's it going everyone? Kellen Reck here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to cut out a green screen. So, in my work with the Red Sox, we shoot all of these videos of the players on green screens, and we have to cut them out so that we can then put them over whatever graphics, we, whatever backgrounds we want, and we can play them in park. So right here, we just have Xander Bogarts posing in front of a green wall, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to cut this out so that we could put him over any other background. Now, this is all done in Adobe Premiere, so what I would do is I'd go over to Effects, and I would look for the ultra key effect. And all you have to do is drag this on top of your clip. Then you can go to your effect controls. And the first thing you wanna do is use the key color picker and pick the green color in the background. So if I just click on that, you can see we've started to key out this background. Now, obviously there are some issues. So that's where we dive in and we make some subtle adjustments to fix the correction. Now, if we swap with our Output, you can see we can choose the alpha channel or the color channel and we can see some of the differences we make. Right now I'm gonna go in and use the alpha channel. Now whatever is white here will be staying, whatever's black is gonna be keyed out. So let's go into our matte generation and do some touch-ups. Now basically, if we go in here and we scrub, we can make some subtle adjustments. Transparency, I'm gonna leave at about 45. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna adjust our shadows and I'm just gonna bring that to about 25. Then I'm gonna go in and adjust my pedestal and I'm gonna bring that to about 60 for now. So you can see we're starting to get some differences here and we'll have to go in and make some adjustments, but for now that looks decent. Now we can use our matte cleanup and I'm just gonna adjust my contrast to about 25. You can see maybe actually 35 and you can see we're starting to get that nice and clean. All this black is disappearing here. There's a lot of other things you can do, but if I change my output now to composite, you can see that we're starting to get the look we want. There's a little bit of issues in his hat, but we'll go in and fix that up shortly. So the next adjustment that's gonna help me get this hat, and if I zoom in so you can see it a little bit better, you can see in the hat we have some issues. So I'm gonna go to my Luma adjustment here, and I'm just gonna bring that down to about 25 maybe even a little lower so we can get a little more. Now what that's doing is giving us a little bit more, but you're starting to see the edges are actually showing that green a little bit more. I'll bring this down to 10. So we can fix that by adjusting our spill and our choke here. We'll go about one, maybe three on the choke and soften so we can soften up those edges. Great, so we're starting to have this come in pretty nicely. These keys are pretty much what we want it to look like. And then the next step we have to do is we just have to mask out these edges. Obviously these are not part of the green screen. An easy little fix, we go into our masking tool here and if I scale this down in size, I'm just gonna mask out those edges so that we only have Xander in the green screen and perfect. Now you can see it's exactly what we want. We have Xander keyed out over a black background. Now we could put anything we wanted behind him. So let me do that. I'll just add a solid. And now you can see that we've keyed him out and put him over the background. It looks really nice and clean. And this can all be done within Premiere Pro. So as easy as that, you can key out any person on a green screen, anything on a green screen, and then toss it on whatever background you want. It works really well in Premiere. A lot of people will use things like After Effects to do this, but what's nice about doing it within Premiere is that it's really quick, you can get instant live playback, and it's all built in within Premiere. So your editing is ready to go, you don't have to export out of After Effects or anything like that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it, write a comment down below, let me know what you think. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this, and we'll check you back in the next one. Thanks, guys.